All right, 8 News Now is partnering with the American Red Cross today for the annual Day of Giving. And that includes a huge blood drive taking place later on. Hector Mejia is live at the Red Cross headquarters with a look at how you can help. Hector, good afternoon. Or good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and good afternoon, and good morning. Hey there, how's it going? So it's a very special day for us here as we team up with the American Red Cross, and we're sort of getting a behind the scenes look here. So this is a wall of supplies. This is what's needed when uh, they draw some blood, and there is a need not only every single day, but in fact, every two seconds, someone is in need of blood, and it's life-saving. Joining us live, we have Alan Diskin here, Executive Director at the American Red Cross of Southern Nevada. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. And so we have this uh, blood drive happening today at 1130 at Sahara West Library, but right now, what are we picking up? So these are all the supplies we'll use today to draw blood inside here are all the supplies that people need to physically give and donate blood and then when we're done we take that blood we put it back in these containers we ship it to be tra uh, to be tested and transported um, processed and brought back to those that need it as you can see the need is constant and the gratification is instant we are always encouraging people to give blood Alan, on that note, I remember uh, during, you know, months, months ago, during the thick of the pandemic, uh, the Red Cross talking about a shortage. Is there still a shortage right now? There's always a need for blood, um, and today is no different. Every day, somebody needs blood for trauma, for cancer, for sickle cell. So we say the need is constant. It's always um, in demand, and we want people to not only give but give regularly so that we can maintain a constant blood supply. And it's also important to note, you were saying, uh, not a lot of people know this, but also when you donate blood, uh, you can potentially help out someone who is recovering from COVID-19. Is that correct? Yeah. So like myself, I contracted COVID-19 uh, during the holiday months. I ended up in the hospital. And I remember them saying, we're waiting for one of those treatments. It should be here soon. It's, uh, it's delayed. And not until it walked into the room did I realize it was convalescent plasma, something near and dear to my heart. So when you donate blood, we can use that blood. We can separate your plasma if you have COVID-19 antibodies, and that can be used for the sickest of patients. And if you don't have the antibodies, we can still use that blood for patients that need it for cancer or other treatments. Awesome. Thank you for having us. So we're going to pack up, again, details about the blood drive. Sahara West Library, that is by Grand Canyon and Sahara, starting at 1130 this morning. Keep in mind, though, because of social distancing, you will need an appointment. We have all of that information already posted online. You can check out 8newsnow.com for all of the details. For now, reporting live, Hector Mejia. 8 News Now, back to you guys. Hector, thank you very much. It is certainly very important. Nate and I will be out there this afternoon at the blood drive, so we'll have the coverage of Giving Day all day long. Thank you, Hector.